Welcome to Next Level Tech. In today's video, we'll take a look at an incredible modern giant beef processing technology factory. Enjoy watching! RanchTV.org RanchTV.org is a virtual video library designed to teach beef cattle producers the best management practice for beef quality. The organization believes that these practices will help the producer's bottom line and aid in the production of high quality and safe beef products for the consumer. This service is provided by the Texas A and M AgriLife Extension Service and is supported through the generosity of the Texas Beef Council. The organization specializes in many areas such as drought cattle management, cattle nutrition feed and feeding, cattle reproduction, cattle management, livestock, beef quality assurance, dairy beef quality, and more. The beef processing begins with the reception and unloading of cattle. This is followed by the initial slaughter process and dehiding. After stunning, the cattle are suspended by a hind limb and moved down a conveyor line for the slaughter procedures. Knives are now being inserted into the thoracic cavity and the carotid artery while jugular veins are severed to make the cows bleed. This method allows for maximal blood removal from the body. The head, legs, and tail are removed from the carcasses. The tails and forelegs are put separately to prevent contamination to the carcass. The hide is chained and pulled off at the flank by a hide puller. Then, the brisket is cut by an electric saw. Offal is taken out and dropped onto the large moving bestera table. The carcass is split longitudinally by an electric saw along the vertebral column into the halves. The carcass and offal are inspected by health inspectors. Only meat and offal that are fit for human consumption are passed. Those unfit meat, offal, parts will be condemned. The inspected carcasses and offal which are fit for human consumption will be officially stamped. The carcasses are rinsed in a rinsing chamber and offal is cleaned at the offal washing room. Each side of the beef carcasses is cut into two quarters between the fifth and sixth ribs by mechanical scissors in the quartering area. Beef quarters, offal, and other parts of cattle are sent to the meat dispatch bank and then are collected and delivered by meat delivery vehicles to individual retail outlets. Beef is now in the process of dry aging, that is, aging large cuts of beef for weeks or months before cutting them into streaks to make the meat develop flavor and become more tender. The firm is employing the table deboning method, which is the simplest and most classic layout of a cutting room and offers a high degree of flexibility. In this layout, employees utilize cutting tables to carry out their work. Table deboning is the optimal solution when carcasses or cuts are not uniform, but does require you to hire employees who are skilled at a wide range of cuts. The beef carcasses are cut into their three primal cuts manually using knives. The beef is minced and finely chopped with a meat grinder to be used in many recipes including beef sausages, hamburgers, and many others. You are watching how pure beef burgers and other fresh convenient foods are being processed. Beef being processed into premium cuts and steaks, tender roasts, meal solutions. The finished products are packed, labeled, and stored.
Danish Crown Danish Crown is one of the world's largest exporters and one of Europe's largest producers of pork. The Danish Crown Group is also the largest meat processing company in Europe, and Danish Crown Beef is a key player in the European beef market. The company has production in Denmark, UK, several European countries and China, and have market access to more than 130 countries around the world. The processed beef products are being packed, labeled, and sealed. You are now watching the Danish farm where cattle are unloaded for slaughtering and further processing. Upon arrival, cattle are automatically driven to slaughter in groups. The Danish Crown Stunning System complies with legal requirements and is by default supplied with a stunning registration system. After deherring, the beef is hooked and hoisted up to a buffer rail for carcass finishing. The carcass finishing line is supplied with pre-dryers, flaming furnaces, washing and polishing machines, the pre-cutter and belly opener divides the pelvic, bone separates the hams into the parts, opens the belly in, cuts the breastbone into the equal parts, all combined in one single operation. The pelvic bone and the belly are split open and the bungs are removed. Splitting saw. The splitting saw machine is installed in a slaughter line right after evisceration. The saw divides the carcass into equal halves in one operation. The carcasses are transported along the line by an overhead conveyor. The machine automatically cut to loosen the head of the pig using a specially designed double knife, which cuts the neck just below the atlas bone, leaf. Danish Crown offers a variety of industry-leading skinners that are for defatting, skin removal, and membrane skinning while providing the highest possible yields. The conveyorized skinners are ideal for automatic skin removal and belly skinning. The plant is equipped with chill tunnels and cooling rooms. The carcasses hang on rails aligned in the direction of air circulation and also avoid contact with each other. After chilling, the carcasses are transferred to the deboning hall where they are cut up, deboned, and trimmed. The deboning and trimming are done with both hanging deboning system and the traditional pace line system in the deboning hall. The beef meat is fed onto a conveyor, belt, and transported for storage packing or further processing. Trim from the deboning and trimming process is usually further processed into sausages or convenience products like hamburgers. Based on the analysis, the trim meat is automatically sorted and batched. According to the specifications for grinding and mixing, the plants by product packing system brings a higher level of automation to the process of batching, packing, and check weighing by products. It has removed manual, labor, intensive tasks wherever possible, giving processors a faster and a more efficient way to bulk pack all kinds of byproducts. After fat, lean measuring and foreign body detection, trim, meat typically enters the meat preparation process where it is ground and mixed with ingredients such as spices, water, and flour to a uniform and consistent meat. Mess. The Danish Crown preparation systems are incredibly flexible and several types of convenience products can easily be made with a few modifications to the recipe and grinding specifications. Danish Crown provides a broad range of solutions for the production of traditional fresh beef sausages with natural prefab collagen or alginate casings. The sausage making systems are very flexible and allow fast casing changeovers between different products e.g. for length or diameter. The meat mass for the sausage is prepared in the grinding and mixing system where it is pumped into sausage stuffers and linking systems. You are now watching beef horizontal and primal cutting using a manual cutting system. The worker is performing the cuts using a knife resulting in clean cuts, no bone dust from cutting, and optimum yield without product loss.